Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi In this tutorial, I shall explain shortly about the chemistry for cleanliness. You know that in SSC level chemistry, there is a chapter, Chemistry for Our Lives. So, on that chapter, in my first video, I explained uh, some sort of like soft drinks, vinegar, baking soda, and edible salts. And in this video, I shall explain shortly about washing soda and toilet cleaner. Those who are studying this chapter, you know that this is very interesting that in the first part I explained that the preparations of baking powder, baking soda and their functions and some other common things from that part. So in this part, let's talk about washing soda and toilet cleaner. What about washing soda? So the chemical formula of washing soda, I mean before that we know that soda ash soda ash is sodium Na2CO3 so this is soda ash so when soda ash is actually uh, connected with or uh, stain molecules of water then it becomes uh, so, uh, washing soda so how it becomes the preparations of washing soda if we say that preparation of washing soda is firstly that a large amount of carbon dioxide is passed through the sodium hydroxide solution so you see that when sodium hydroxide and carbon dioxide is reacting each other they're producing Na2 Na2CO3 plus H2O so this sodium carbonate is known as soda ash and which is actually dissolves in water so when this sodium carbonate is again again mixed up with 10 molecule of water then it produce Na2CO3 dot 10 H 2O and the chemical name of this formula is sodium carbonate decahydrate so deca means 10 so we say that this is sodium carbonate so we say that this is sodium carbonate carbonate decahydrate decahydrate and this is actually the washing soda so usually you know that from the name it is used in terms of cleanliness so as the simply the soda ash formula is sodium carbonate when it is added with 10 molecule of o water then it will become the washing soda and it's called sodium carbonate decahydrate now we think about toilet cleaner in toilet cleaner two different actually there are many ingredients are there but mainly mainly you will have sodium hydroxide and and sodium hypochlorous sodium hypochlorous what are their functions you know that in toilets there are many things are there i mean ingredients like oily ingredients then uh, protein ingredients and some substance and colored materials so there are a lot so usually what happened when sodium hydroxide and sodium hypochlorous mainly added so when you pour sodium uh, the toilet cleaner into the basin then what will happen this sodium hydroxide will work for the oily the oily materials plus some protein materials and in case of sodium perchloric acid and that sodium perchlorous they will work with uh, work with the substance substance and and some sort of like germs so what is the main function and how it actually work at the toilet cleaner think about one thing that sodium hydroxide has it alkaline alkaline properties and for that it, make, it makes clean so what are the other functions of sodium hypochlorite when sodium hypochlorous is using with water it will produce hypochlorous acid so this is HOCl so that is actually HOCl and then after you know that with that sodium hydroxide will be produced so this is sodium hypochlorous and this is hypochlorous acid HOCl 
when HOCl breaks, then it produces hydrogen chloride and nascent oxygen. It produces nascent oxygen. What is nascent oxygen? Nascent oxygen it means the just produce or the oxygen atom that is expressed inside the third bracket. So it has some oxidization power and this nascent oxygen when it is mixed up with colored object or this nascent oxygen when it mixes up with germs then the same same results will happen this colored object would be colorless and these germs would be dead germs so we can say that mainly the sodium hypochlorous and sodium hydroxide mainly the sodium hydroxide is the part of the toilet cleaner the main ingredients but the sodium hypochlorite also is taking part of this action so i hope you see the reactions what is going on here and whenever you will study this chapter try to remain in, in, your, in, your, in your brain one thing that there are some reactions that is very important which will really really common in your uh, questions so whenever there is about the questions regarding washing soda or you can have a mcq or multiple choice questions and then these reactions should be memorized so you know that sodium hypochlorite is reactions with uh, reacting with water and produce hypochlorous acid so the name of this is hypochlorous acid so hocl and then it will break and to produce nascent oxygen so this is called nascent nascent oxygen and this nascent oxygen will work both in case of colored object and also germs so germs will be dead germs and also colored object will be colorless so entirely when we'll use toilet cleaner in the toilet it will be cleaned and this is a very a primary level idea that how the toilet cleaner cleaned the toilet so this is very simple explanation and I hope you enjoy this short video and I'm coming up with the next video with soap and detergent the production of soap which is called soapification the types and how it cleans so take care stay tuned with me and see you in the next class bye